If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Is uh, on the clock right now, and uh, go be a sports caster and sports celebrity. Excellent. Well, folks, uh, my name is Neil Bormas, as Nestor said, and I just want to introduce myself a little bit uh, to the Baltimore sports market. Uh, I've always loved the Orioles. The Orioles are my, my first love, and any good relationship, like my relationship with Baltimore sports, you have to have two things. You have to have love, and you have to have passion. The, Raven, the Ravens are my passion, and the Orioles are my love. I fell in love with the Orioles baseball back when I was a little kid. It was instilled in me from my grandfather. And the great thing about love is it's always there, and that's the thing about the Orioles games. Every night, almost every night, you turn on the radio, you know, you listen to the, to the game. You can be out doing things in the yard or eating crabs. You always have the game around. You, you watch on TV. Even nowadays, you can stream it live from the Internet. You know, it's just or, Orioles baseball has always been there for me, and it's just a part of growing up in Baltimore. You know, you, the Orioles are always there. And the, the great thing about the Orioles, last couple of years, they've teased, they've, they've been in contention in the early part of the season, and we just hope that it pulls through this year. You know, a couple of subjects, you know, people have been talking about Adam Jones and how he's really developed, and I've been really excited to see him. And honestly, mark my words, I think in the coming years, he's going to surpass Marcakis as the face of the franchise. He's, he's really, so far this year, and hopefully he keeps doing it, he's just been, he's just, his eyes, his batting eyes improved, and he just seems like he's got a lot more power. And, of course, he's a great defender in the outfield. Another subject I wanted to talk about with the Orioles is, is uh, Aubrey Huff. I really think his defense has improved at first base a lot. I mean, he's never going to be confused for J.T. Snow, but I think he, he's getting better at defense at first base. And he won a silver slugger last year, so I thought that was pretty impressive. First base is a, a, you know, a natural hitting position. You always put most of your better hitters there. And I think if he keeps hitting through the first part of the year, even about the disparaging things he said with Baltimore, I think that maybe... We should look to sign him to an extension. I think he deserves it. He, if he keeps hitting the way he's been hitting, we don't really have anyone in the minors to come up and take his place. You know, the days of Calvin Pickering waiting in the minors forever are over. We don't have anybody there, and I think it might be a good idea to look to sign him to an extension. I really, I just like I said, I just really love the Orioles and some of my memories, Oriole memories. I do remember, as Nestor said, I'm pretty young, so I do, I do remember Memorial Stadium though. Uh, I remember sitting in the nosebleeds. You know, I was more interested back in those days in ice cream and what was going on around me than I really was in the game. It was hard to see up there. But uh, I do remember the chants, the Eddie chant. Uh, didn't really understand it then. Uh, but I do, you know, as you grow older, you kind of realize things that you didn't realize when you were a kid. It just, you know, I, I still remember back when the Orioles were in contention, you know, when I was young enough to, to really have heroes uh, in the late 90s. Uh, I, my mother was getting remarried, and I still remember the reception she had at a VFW club. And I remember sneaking into the bar section of the VFW club to watch the game. It was uh, when they were playing the Cleveland Indians, and uh, Armando Benitez throws that 100 mile an hour pitch right down the middle, and Fernandez sticks out his bat, and it happens to go over the wall. It's one of the worst, worst things that could ever happen to me. I was crushed that night. Crushed. It was uh, something that I'll always remember. You know. And then the second part of the love, just to keep with the theme, is, is the passion. And the Ravens are definitely my passion. I, I live and die with the Ravens. You know, when they lose, you're, you're upset for the whole next week. You know, when they win, you're on a high for the next week. It's just something that's just exciting. It's just exciting. You know, you have 12 games in the football season, so every – I'm not 12. What am I thinking about? No, you got uh, 16 games, right, 16 regular season games. And uh, it's, just, it's just so exciting because each game means – so much more than in baseball you know like I said baseball is there every night but football it's a uh, you know it just means so much more it's once a week you got the build up you go down there you tailgate you know everyone's so excited you get the you know the passion the fans you know I even brought one of my old buddies down uh, to watch a Ravens game we went we went and tailgated and stuff you know he wore all his Bills garb and you know we were out there and the great thing about a lot of the Ravens fans is, is you're never going to get too harassed. You know, it's not like you go to Philly and people just have so many bad things to say about you. You know, I mean, they were, you know, they gave him some business, but you know, they were cordial and just exciting to 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 be there and see that. And he he, as an experience, he'll remember. He had never been to another stadium before, so I thought that was pretty interesting to share with him the love of the Ravens that everyone has and everyone feels. And I'm really excited about the upcoming season. We seems like we covered most of our. Our problems, we filled a lot of holes, especially with the defensive backs and everything, and just exciting. So, uh, my name again is Neil Bortmiss. Check out my blogs, and uh, that's, my time's up. Oh, your time. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.